Once again, it's your boy. You are in the kitchen with Chef R. Allen, and today I'm doing my famous ravioli casserole. It's gonna be with the Italian sausage. My uh, my wife's godmother, who has it off a farm, fresh Italian sausage, and I like to mix it up with both with the ground beef and the sausage. You'll see the ingredients. I'm doing the frozen ravioli. I'm doing the mozzarella, the parmesan, the sour cream. It's it's not that much. Cottage cheese. Cream cheese, now it's gonna be a delicious sauce. Guys, a nice cheese sauce. Okay, enough of that talking. Let's get this started. So we're gonna ground up the ground beef. I'm gonna put this on medium high. I'm doing the ground beef and the Italian sausage. So we wanna brown this some. I got some, uh, a little garlic. Put a little bit of garlic here. A little bit of Italian seasoning and other seasons with this. And we're just gonna brown this up. That's what you wanna do. Like I said, you can use it as a, a vegan too. I was telling this young lady, it doesn't have to have the meat on if you don't want the meat. So you don't have to use it. But right here, I'm, I'm doing both meats. If you don't like the Italian sausage, or if you don't like the, you know, I'm doing both because I like the, the flavor to it. So we're gonna brown this up. I got on medium to high heat. I got the oven on 350. Oh man, if you can smell it. I like the ragu with this sauce here, this ravioli, because it, it makes it good with the cheese, but you can do any sauce, the sauce that you prefer. We're gonna cook this off. You got it on medium to high heat. About 15 minutes to brown. We're gonna put it in the oven for about 45 minutes uncovered once I make the cheese sauce. And you know what, while this is cooking, I can show you guys how I do my cheese sauce. So first, you, you, you're you gonna get a bowl. You're gonna get a large bowl. You're gonna do with the cream cheese. And you wanna soften. I got it whipped already, the cream cheese. You wanna soften. So if you just get the regular cream cheese, leave it out and let it soften. Then you'll do, of course, the cottage cheese, a little bit of that. When I do these videos, you can tweak or you can add more stuff to it, but I just want to give you guys the foundation of it. So we're going to set this aside, and then you do the sour cream. You're going to add the Parmesan with that. You might do a little more sour cream. We'll see how this mixture is. And this mixture here, you see the guys? And we're gonna add a little more sour cream. Matter of fact, we're gonna use all this sour cream. So you got the, you got your Parmesan, you got the cheese, you got the sour cream, the cottage cheese. This is what it looks like. Once I throw the a ravioli in here, we're gonna mix it all together. I'll show you guys that in a minute. We're gonna finish with. Oh yeah. It's real simple, guys. It's simple to make and use it as a leftover. 48 hours and 72 hours. So right now, oh yeah. I'm going to put a little more seasoning, a little more garlic. And then I like to add just a, I like that good stuff. Okay. So as this cooking, you want to drain some of the oil once this cooks. With the Italian sausage, it doesn't, it's not that much grease. It's more of the ground beef. That's why I did more Italian beef. So we're going to cut this on low now. I want to drain a little bit of this oil off. And, and be careful how you do this, guys. And just, there you go. Like I said, it's not much oil in here. You can use any sauce you want to use. So any sauce, I'm, I'm using ragu. You can use any sauce you want. And me, I like to add a little, little water with this. We're going to cut this off. Mix this up. Oh, yeah. We're going to leave it here like this. And I'm going to show you guys. Okay, like the cheese I was showing you guys. That's the cheese. 
and that's the cheese here. And now with the frozen ravioli, you can do any kind of, like I said, it doesn't have to be with the meat. It could be a vegan, a vegan kind of. So we're gonna drop this in. Make sure you mix it evenly. I'm gonna use my hand. I'm finna get it messy. You're folding it. You don't wanna break it up, but you're folding it. And you wanna get it even. And I'm gonna put the parsley in here with it. You wanna mix some parsley in here. I'm not gonna put it all in because I wanna top it off too. Mix it up real good. That's why I'm only using one glove in case I do more parsley, which I will. And like I say, you got you got it mixed real well. Now the magic begins. I got this dish right here, this oven dish. We're gonna evenly lay it at the bottom. Oh yeah. I'm gonna put this in here. I want you guys to see it. You wanna even it, even the whole pan. Oh yeah. Then you're gonna pour the, let me move this stuff out your way. Okay, then you're gonna pour the meat on top of it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna smoothen that out. Don't cover it, you don't have to cover it. It's gonna be like 45 minutes uncovered. Once you do take it out the oven, you wanna let it cool for about 10 minutes so the, the flavor is gelled with it. Then you wanna use the mozzarella. And you're gonna coat that. Like I said, I got the oven on. And to me, the more the cheese, the better. Who don't like cheese? I'm gonna put this in the oven for 45 minutes, uncovered. And we'll let, we'll see how, oh, that's beautiful. And guys, you'll see how it's done in 45 minutes, how it look, you see how easy it was to make. And guys, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, it's been about 45 minutes, so let's check it out, cause it smells oh so delicious. Oh yes, that's the look I want. We're gonna pull this out here. Oh yeah. Look at that there. Look at that there. Is that a beauty or what? See how it looks? And we let it cool off for about 10 minutes. Oh yeah. And that's my ravioli, my famous, Chef R. Allen famous ravioli casserole. Easy to make, but most importantly, more delicious to eat. Okay guys, like I said, we, we, gonna let, we let this cool off for 10 minutes. I just want you guys to see what it looks like. <laughs> You know, the reason I let it cool off for 10 minutes is so the flavors could gel together and stuff. So we're gonna cut this open. And, and guys, I just wanna show you guys. Oh, man. I'm gonna put some of this parsley on it. Look down in here and see what this is like this. And that here is Chef R. Allen's famous ravioli casserole. Easy to make, but more delicious to eat. Until next time, I'll see you in the kitchen with Chef R. Allen with Cooking Made Easy. Guys, thanks for subscribing, but don't forget to get the bell icon so you guys can catch up other recipes that's coming. My next recipe is gonna be a spicy New Orleans shrimp. Oh, so delicious. Until next time, I'll see you in the kitchen with Chef R. Allen, cooking made easy.